I want to find the limit as x approaches 0 from the negative side of this equation. First thing I want to do is I want to make this a rational expression. So I'm going to multiply this by x and x. And I'm going to change this to the limit as x approaches 0 from the negative side of x cubed minus 1 over x. Again, I multiply this by x over x, producing x cubed. And then you can add um, the tops, the numerators. Now here's my new function. We can do that. Looking at this function, let's see at 0, if is it a vertical asymptote? Let's check to see if it's a vertical asymptote. In order to do that, well, you first got to check, OK, at 0, the vertical asymptote. The bottom 0 is 0. So if we just plug in 0, you got 0 cubed minus 1 over 0, which would be negative 1 over 0. So is that a vertical asymptote? Yes. You notice it's a vertical asymptote because you have a number over 0. Okay, Remember, 0 does not work. That's what we check. So we plug it in. Negative 1 over 0, that means it is a vertical asymptote. So are we going to have an actual value of this? No. The limit does not exist. But we can describe it. And here's how we're going to describe it. We're going to describe this one by making a table and approach from the negative side. Now, as we approach from the negative side, um, I'm going to start with negative 1. And then I'm going to do negative 1 half. Because um, we're approaching 0. And when we do that, let's plug in some values. So when you plug in negative 1 to this equation, this function, you get negative 1 cubed minus 1 over negative 1, which gives us looks like uh, negative 2 over negative 1, which is 2. And we're also going to plug in 1 half. So we're going to do sorry, negative 1 half. Negative 1 half cubed minus 1 over negative 1 half. That would give us, looks like, uh, negative 1 eighth minus 1 over negative 1 half. I know this is kind of annoying, look at all these kind of ugly numbers, but this would be a negative 9 eighths times negative 2 over 1. You flip the bottom and multiply. These two can cancel, leaving you 1 and 4. And then when you multiply the positive, which looks like this is going to be a 9 over 4, which is 2 and 1 fourth. Now, if you notice, we went from 2, and it grew, grew, grew by 1 fourth. So if it's growing, that means it's going up. So what we notice about this graph is at the asymptote at 0 this graph is going to be going uphill. So our answer is going to be infinity. Now, I have screwed up on this one in the past. This one, if you did not choose negative 1 and negative 1 half, say you chose negative 2 and negative 1, you would have thought it would be positive, negative infinity because it would have looked like it's going down because the graph actually looks like this. And it looks like it's going down and it shoots back up. So you got to be very careful to choose numbers kind of close to the line with asymptotes because if you don't, you can miss some really quick turnarounds. So you want to choose kind of very close numbers to the actual asymptote you're approaching. So it's going to be going up to positive infinity.